Something I haven't really discussed in any meaningful way on my channel ever since I uploaded my most popular video is the gunship video. At the time, I shared my feelings and how I felt about the current situation not only around the set and LEGO Star Wars, but the LEGO company as a whole. But due to some further advancements in the last nine months or so, things have changed a little bit. But more importantly, some of the reactions I had to that video were mixed. On the one side, and this is probably the more popular camp, there was a ton of support for what I had to say and just general agreement on what I was saying about the company and the product. On the other hand, I had people that thought I was completely ridiculous, and you can see this, this internal debate uh, in my comment section on that video. Other than the hysterical irony of this video doing incredibly well despite it being one of the lowest effort in terms of production I've ever done, I think, just like all my other videos, that this one sucks. I don't want to betray my past self either, even though it was a little bit emotionally invested and charged and a bit silly with some of the things I said. All of this has just been a long winded lead up into uh, the disappointment that I may be bringing upon myself. I will admit, I did not buy LEGO Star Wars sets for quite some time after I made that video. Several months, uh, maybe five or so. I don't remember the exact timeline before I broke that. And it was always a loose breaking, but this, this is harder to, uh, to argue. And because I made such a hard and seemingly ridiculous stance on the gunship video, I have been told that I should probably make a, I should probably talk about this. And it's absurd that I should feel like I should mention that I bought Star Wars sets. It's none of your business whether or not I buy Star Wars or anything, really, it's not. But it, it, it'd be in poor taste not to. I don't think it needs to be stated how big of a fan I am of LEGO and their product that they produce. Really, most of you do not realize the depth that it is that I, that I find myself diving into. But in the meantime, until I do share more of that, you want to talk about what I got on May 4th? <laughs> if you're going to break a self-made statement, you might as well go big. So I'm going to be also sharing the prices. Like, I paid $100 for Boba Fett's Palace. Or how about $100 on the Bad Batch shuttle? $50 on the Slave One, anybody? I think the Marauder is only $30, but still, that's $30 for four figures that I definitely didn't need, but I did want. It feels good getting stuff off the chest, so I'm gonna get four ATST poly bags off the chest. It wasn't the only thing that was free. Uh, the Lars Holmstead family kitchen was free, but so were the second and third copy. Even It's unfortunate that I don't have Blue Milk Luke, but I did buy the Skywalker Saga for the Switch. Not really anybody said anything about them in the comments, which I thought was surprising, so clearly none of you actually care whether or not I buy stuff. Let's just mention another $30 right there. Oh, and the Skywalker Saga was $70 with all the tax. The Armory, it was uh, $30. And this Microfighter, another $10. I wasn't really excited about getting the set, but I do want all the dual sets, so there's another $20. At $60, I might even get more of these, because we all know at the inflated price, Prices Lego is currently at, especially with Star Wars, these minifigures are probably gonna be a hundred bucks a pop, which is absolutely absurd. But why not spend another sixty dollars to make another hundred in a few years? I think I just got four ATST poly bags. No, I also got four Beskar keychains. What am I gonna do with four of these? I don't know. I never actually sell Lego. I I I, I can't bring myself to do it. So I don't know. Maybe I'll melt them down and make some armor out of it. And this at one sixty was the biggest purchase for May the fourth. But it's not all I got because I also. <laughs> I know you might not have seen this, but I actually left a comment on my video saying like, oh, I'm only human, and if a new Lego Yoda comes out, then I'm definitely gonna get it. This one at $80 is obviously new. You're all seeing this one. This one at $200, uh, you know, a bit more uh, frivolous. Did I get this one before May 4th? Uh, yes, I did. A couple of months, of, in fact. However, I think there's some argument to be made. I, you know, Lego didn't sell this. They didn't make money from it. Originally, technically speaking, it was all a promotional giveaway. So really they lost money in the end if you want to not think about it. But it was a third party buy. I bought it from JB Brick Fanatic and he's not directly supporting Lego. Oh wait, he is because he is getting a Lego idea set made. Dang it. Uh, minifigures, the normal ones, those are six bucks a pop plus tax. Um, these bigger ones are like 14. I don't have all of it on hand right now. So let's let's just give a rough a number of like $100 for all the various Star Wars parts or Star Wars minifigures I bought. It's actually probably higher than that. This one is, uh, I can explain. This one's funny in the haha -ha sense because I actually have two of them in my possession. The other one's in deep storage right now, so it wasn't the easiest to pull out but I, there are two gunships directly in my 
ownership. The whole video was about how I'm definitely never going to buy the gunship. And I didn't! It was sent to me for free by uh, Potter Minifig Pals or Holly on Film, however you want to call it. And they accidentally sent two. Holly, this is my land submission because we had to do a, a gunship video. What is the moral of today's story? That p some people are not honest and they can't keep their word? Or that capitalism and consumerism outwins and outshines them all? Or maybe there isn't a story here and now I'm just gonna have certain friends, you know who you are, laughing in my face that I didn't upkeep it. But I wanna say that for the five or six months that I didn't buy Star Wars, there was a certain relief uh, lifted on my shoulder. And now that I'm sitting in a room with a bunch of Lego sets precariously thrown about, I don't feel good about it.